Hello, and welcome to Capstone Almost Live. I'm Michael Dahl, and I am alive. Imagine, if you will, a monster. A terrible monster that can fly and fight other monsters. And it gets lost and designs clothes, and then it has a sleepover party with its friends. Terrifying, right? Unbelievable. Ridiculous, you might say. Maybe. Now, what if this weren't just one story, but 15? 15 or more, sir, that's right. Because what I am talking about are blazing new series that are coming from Capstone Fiction this fall, 2014. Okay, first up, the Frankenstein Journals. JD is an orphan. On his 13th birthday, he gets a journal. It was with him when he was left as a baby on the steps of the orphanage. And as he reads that journal, he discovers his dad was none other than Frankenstein's monster. So for a kid who had no family, now all of a sudden he has this monstrous family tree. I mean, literally. For example, Frankenstein's left leg came from an explorer. One of his eyes came from a detective. A private eye. But someone seems to be following JD. A mysterious shadow that wants to get their hands on the Frankenstein journals and create a new, even more powerful monster. <laughs> After all that, I think I need a rest. Or a short nap. Mm, I know, a sleepover. Like the sleepover girls. These girls are best friends. It's Ashley, Marin, Delaney, and Willow. And they have a Friday night tradition where they always get together and they take turns sleeping over at one another's houses for a party. Now, these girls don't just sit around talking about boys. They do cool stuff. Like crafts. Cooking. Mm -hmm. Or fashion. In fact, each book is told from a different girl's viewpoint, and each one has a different activity. These books are paired with some fun nonfiction books, Sleepover Girls Crafts, so that you, the reader, can do the same thing these girls do with your friends and share. You know what I'd like to share? Superman's powers. Flying, super strength, x-ray vision. You get all these powers and more in the brand new The Amazing Adventures of Superman. The Man of Steel teams up with another superhero in each book. Batman, Wonder Woman, Green Lantern. How cool is that? I think I'll just add these to my personal collection. Brand new, never before told stories illustrated by DC's own artists themselves. Now, in this one, Superman turns into a green alien. Maybe he just ate too many green M&Ms. Now, Chloe might eat too many M&Ms while she's working on her computer or at her sketchbook, trying to come up with some really cool fashions. I mean, she loves fashion. She eats, breathes, creates it all the time. And guess what? In her hometown now, there are TV auditions for a reality show trying to find the next big designer. And she thinks that she might have a chance. I mean, Project Runway, anybody? When you flip through the pages of these books in the new Chloe by Design series, you'll see her gorgeous sketches and watercolors and how and where she gets her inspiration side by side with her own thoughts, her ideas, her doubts and worries, and her courage. So. Many stories. There's the new Jake Maddox JV Sports Series. The final adventures in the fantastic paranormal fairy ground books. More missions for the Shadow Squadron soldiers. Everyone's favorite purple monster, Jellybee. And have you ever gone on a trip or vacation and got lost? I mean, really lost? That's what happens to Odysseus. Yeah, I know, weird name. Now this book, Get Lost Odysseus, is the last in the series Mythomania, written by Kate McMullen. This is the guy who came up with the idea for the Trojan horse, except that now Odysseus has to return home over the sea. And he has a few adventures along the way. They get attacked by sea monsters, evil enchantresses, uh, man-eating mermaids, and the Greek gods don't even like him. So what's gonna happen? Well, he... <sighs> you're gonna have to read the book. Until later. No, 
Oh, really? I mean it. You have to read the book. And you cannot skip to the end.